Tauchi video is going to go through um, how to make a change to a board file using AllCAD EDM to kind of check the file out. We'll then do some uh, EDM validation to confirm that we're using the correct footprint, etc. And then we'll uh, we'll uh, check the file in and uh, do a release package. So uh, in AllCAD EDM, so I'm using the desktop version of AllCAD EDM here um, because I'm connecting to PCB editor. So I've got a board file in my Allegro folder in my design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this design here and I'm just going to check it out. Obviously, there's some additional files that are part of this. So let's just let's just check those out as well. And you can see that gets checked out locally to my directory. I can then do open and then open the board file. So the change I actually want to make here is uh, I need to do a silk screen. Um, so if I look at my artwork film, so let's do manufacture artwork. I don't have a silk screen uh, artwork film listed here. Um, and the production team has decided that they want to see silk screen on this. So what we'll do is we'll go to the colors and we'll start off with a blank canvas. So I'm going to turn on uh, the outline, put the silk screen top on. Uh, I want components and silk screen top. And then I also want my drawing format, so I'm going to include my uh, title block information and my text output. So that gives me all the information I need. That kind of looks good for what I want for my uh, my artwork film. So we'll click OK to that. We'll then just go and do a right mouse button adds this screen underscore top. Click OK. That looks good. So let's just do a quick display for visibility. Back to display for visibility. We're matching everything. Got my text information here. Yeah, that all looks good. Okay, fine. So I'm now going to save my board file. And then I'm going to close my uh, Allegro down. And then we will just do a check in. So let's go to the check in. So it's found that these specific files need to be checked in. So I'm going to check in my board file, modified. Uh, let's have a comment, comment here. So let's do silk screen. Top. Edit. Um, so I'm going to generate a PDF. I want to do the EDM validation. Um, I, I can update the title block, but I don't need to because the title block's OK. So I'm literally just going to say, let's go and check these files in. This then launches PCB editor. So my files are checked in. So if you actually look under the reports area now, I've got this EDM validation for the design. So we can just open this CSV file. So we can see I've got a list of all of my PCB footprints, um, their pin count, what their validation status is, so they're currently up to date. They've all come from the correct promoted library location in the right revision, and I've got all the latest versions that are available to me. So that's a good sign from my PCB footprint point of view. So I can close that down. If we look at the history, so let's go to, um, let's just look at the history of our board file. We can actually see, um, the changes that have happened with our board, um, we can load, download any version of this if we wanted to. Uh, so we get a full history of our board file. And we can then say, now we're happy with this, we can then do a release. So we could then run the release package, pick what we need. So I don't want to do an IPC, but I want those. Um, let's capture the design. Let's put the bill of materials down there, in there as well. And we will then package that. This one's the package to release. There was a video specifically going through this process, but so I'm going to just do this very, very quickly. But we'll just I'm going to put the net impedance average. So that's generated the release file. So there's my design, which we can open. And there's all my relevant files. And if we look at the readme now, it's also generated a silkscreen artwork, which is what we wanted to do.